Hey y'all, Tanny Cooks here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make some absolutely delicious air fryer country style ribs. Yes, so good. Let's get to cooking. So these are my beautiful ribs. These are pork loin ribs, and you can see how meaty they are. In comparison to like baby back ribs that is mostly bone and then some meat this is mostly meat and then a little bit of bone that you see there so the first thing I'm gonna do is put them in a bowl so that I can wash them so these were $3.99 a pound and each pack was about two pounds so I'm washing them and you can see the bone there and the beautiful fleshy meat I'm washing these of course with white vinegar and water but I'm actually adding more vinegar than I typically do because I'm gonna let these sit and soak for a good five or ten minutes to help tenderize them because I'm gonna put these directly in the air fryer I'm not gonna bake them first like I usually do with the regular pork ribs that's on the slab so you can see how the color changes a little bit as it's been in my vinegar water solution and I'm just gonna drain this out and then rinse it off again just to get some of the vinegar off because these are actually gonna be barbecued but if you like the vinegary taste, that's okay. So finally, I'm gonna drain them in my colander in my sink, and I'm gonna show you the seasonings I'm going to use, including black pepper, smoked paprika, granulated garlic, granulated onion, and no soy tamari. Tamari is like a soy sauce. This one doesn't contain soy though, and you can see the nutrition facts. It is quite high in sodium, but it contains pea, pea protein, and pea salt. And pea protein is used a lot in vegan protein powders. So if you're allergic to peas, then you wouldn't use this. But I'm going to give this a try. So I'm adding that first as my liquid marinade. And then I'm adding my seasonings on top of that. So then I'm just going to blend it all together. But you'll notice I only have half of my pork ribs in this bowl. Because I want to make sure that each layer is seasoned well. So then I added my second layer on my second pack of pork ribs and then I'm gonna season that on top before I give it all a mix. You can certainly put all your meat in a bowl and mix it up. You just have to be extra careful that every piece is seasoned. So look at this, beautiful meat, very thick and fleshy and I'm just massaging. Actually this massaging aspect also helps to make meat tender in addition to the vinegar. Very beautiful, y'all. And now you can add more seasoning. So I added more sauce to give it more color. And now I'm ready for the air fryer. So I'm going to cook these at 400 degrees in my air fryer for 20 minutes. I'm not pre-cooking these or pre-baking them. So very interesting. And it is super delicious and super tender. The main thing in your air fryer is you don't want to overstuff it. We need the air to circulate so that the air fryer can do its magic. And look at this beautiful four pieces in my small air fryer. So I'm checking it halfway through. It's at 400 degrees and 10 minutes has passed. So I like to open it and take a look. Looks absolutely beautiful and it's starting to get a nice char. So I'm just going to turn it over. You can add barbecue sauce at this point and then cook it or you can wait another five minutes and then add barbecue sauce and just let the barbecue bit cook for the last five minutes so try it a couple of different ways and see what you prefer so now it's back in the air fryer 400 degrees for 10 minutes now i did my second option i waited five minutes and now i'm going to add my favorite barbecue sauce which is sweet baby rays but you can use your favorite or you can make it homemade so I'm just squirting some barbecue sauce on and then I'm using my tongs to spread it I do have one of those silicone brushes but I don't know where it is so the tongs did just fine for the job so now I'm gonna let it cook for the last five minutes and I didn't do all of my ribs at one time so I'm going to do a second batch I don't bother to wash the air fryer out between batches because that's just extra flavor in there. Now, I did get a little bit lazy in that I did overstuff my air fryer a little bit, but it still had space to circulate. I just didn't want to stay up late doing a third batch, but do as I say, not as I did. Although it did turn out fine, so actually do what you want to do. How about that? But um, I'm just smoothing on my barbecue sauce and giving it a turn to make sure all sides are covered with the sauce for that delicious flavor and it's going to caramelize beautifully as it cooks down for the last five or ten minutes for the second batch and just add the barbecue sauce in the quantity that you like some people like it more saucy some people like just a little bit of sauce do what you like and look at this beautiful char it almost looks like it's been cooked outdoors 
And, you know, April is a rainy month, so when you can't barbecue outside like you want to, you can barbecue indoors. Now, this is a test I did. I just wanted to check the meat thermometer. I cooked it to about 150 degrees. Some people say cook your ribs to 145. Some say 160, 170. I like to see my meat pull away from the bone, and I test a piece to make sure it's super tender, and these absolutely were. Now to finish them off, I put them on a plate and I'm adding some greenery. Yes, I'm adding delicious parsley. It kind of jazzes it up in my opinion, but if you don't care about that piece, then you don't have to add it. These were very delicious and look, I tasted a piece for you. It's hot, steamy, and super tender. So cooking these country style ribs in an air fryer for 20 minutes on 400 degrees is an absolute winning idea. So I will definitely do this more often, probably even in the summertime when I don't want to fire up a grill. So Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know in the comments if this is something you've tried or you will try in the future. Thank you so much for watching.